And uh, we have Daddy New, who maybe this is his first Boulder Boulder. I'll have to ask him. Daddy, you are at the Denver 7, uh, 7K mark, where we will be handing out some swag this year as well, and, and a great place to watch the race from. <laughs> Yes, we have a lot of cool Denver 7 merch we'll be handing out, like cool headbands. We also got some cowbells I'll show you later. I wanted to tell you about the Ageless Wonders, because for the first time this year, if you quote-unquote beat your age, so if your 10K time is lower than your age, then you get a T-shirt. And that's obviously more realistic for people who are a little older, because like, I'm 28. I'm not running a sub-30 10K, but people who are like in their 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, they got a good shot at that. And when you meet some of the people of a really good chance, you realize that they are determined to get that T-shirt. Everyone, I want you to meet Marcy, who is 51, Joe, who is 61, and Nancy, who is 73. They run Boulder Boulder every year and are determined to win the t-shirt for running under their age, and that says Ageless Wonders on it. Not to mention, if you are first for your age, you get another t-shirt for winning your age, and then the top 15, each person gets a medal for the top 15 at each age. But I want you to look at Nancy. She's got a lot of these medals. She's basically an OG boulderer. She was going to run the first year in 1979, but then she got pregnant with her firstborn, so she started in 81 and has not stopped since then. She collects medals every year. She's got this massive collection in her house. She has an entire wall just of her medals, and she showed me a few of them and brought them. And in the past few years, she's even gotten her grandkids and her family members to join her as well on race day. So clearly, for Nancy, for Marcy, for Joe, they all want that t-shirt, but they also just love this event and they want to keep the tradition going. I just feel very proud when I'm out there running and being in Boulder since I'm from here. Just proud love moment. it and I love that my children and grandchildren run it. Joe, will you be participating in any of the, the slip and slides or random activities along the sidelines? No, I typically don't. I stay focused and you try to win. try to compete against myself. So if somebody offers you a jello shot, uh, I, I, I will I will pass for the time being. You're there to win. That's right. You want that t-shirt. Yeah, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of fun things along the way, which kind of tempts me to walk, run with the grandkids, but I'm still going to run it. Got to win. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you just do it twice. Well, I have the tour hamstrings this year, uh, so I've been working through it and um, just going to take a little more Advil. Nothing's going to stop. We're just a couple more Advil. Totally fine. I run 10 games with pulled hamstrings all the time. I looked up to them. They're incredible. I hope to see Joe, Marcy, and Nancy running along this way today. I'm going to high five them. Maybe I'll get them on the newscast later. So I'll keep reporting here from the Denver 7 Chen. I'll show you more of our merch coming up in the newscast. Uh, but back to you, Nicole, for now.